Following developing news tonight on the local trash company that has failed to pick up garbage from paying customers this summer. And now the company Raccoon, Raccoon Refuse has closed, leaving thousands of local customers scrambling tonight. They're trying to find new waste disposal companies and they're trying to get refunds for months of service they paid for but never received. Don't they have any heart at all or any conscience about what they did? They had to have known for weeks or months that they were going out of business and they scammed everybody right along, didn't they? Sally Umholt says she's sick to her stomach. The 82-year-old McCain resident spent months fed up with Raccoon Refuse. Now she has a pile of trash and no company to collect it. I was mad and I cried and I got to do something. Thousands of other local families have the same problem and finding a new hauler isn't easy. We called some local businesses, and they're so flooded with customers, their phone lines are busy, and their mailboxes are full. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. For Umholtz, the sudden shutdown is far more than just a nuisance. Not only is her trash piling up as she tries to find another carrier, it's a financial problem as well. Just three weeks ago, she paid Raccoon Refuse $85 for three months of service. It's money she doesn't think she'll ever see again. Oh, you can't get through to them. The messages I leave on their answering machine ought to burn their ears. The Better Business Bureau says it's possible customers will get refunds, but it's not guaranteed. For now, they say file a complaint and talk to your bank. Impacted consumers should file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau as well as the Attorney General's office. Uh, it's also a good idea to contact your financial institution to see if you can file a dispute regarding any charges for services that haven't been rendered. Umholtz needs that refund. Her Social Security check barely covers her expenses, and she might soon have to choose between trash removal and daily meals. I'll do what I gotta do. You cut back on food and things that you need. Now, if you paid mm -hmm. online, if you weren't paying by check directly to the company, you could get a refund, go online and email tbilling at trashbilling.com. You see that on your screen. The company says, please email. It's a call center set up to manage credit card transactions, not to handle customer complaints. If you don't go online, if you don't use a computer, there is a number on your screen as well, 802-244-1530. Also, the county executive recently put out a statement. They're working to come up with some ways to pick up trash in the interim while people look to try to find new companies to collect their trash. Yeah, and we're going to see the forecast coming up in just a little while, too. And if it gets hotter, this becomes a real issue, a health concern. Already a health concern. Well, already a problem. The question is, does it become a legitimate health concern? Only time will tell. That's right.